If you're looking for a power supply that's tailored towards specific applications such as wireless communications and battery testing, the NGM201 and NGU201 are among the most capable instruments, and many similarities exist between them. For example, the galvanically isolated floating channels can produce a total of 60 watts of power per instrument, and thanks to their two-quadrant architectures, both can function as a source and a sink in order to simulate both batteries and loads. Also, the linear regulation allows for extremely stable output voltages and currents, with voltage ripple and noise less than 500 microvolts RMS and current ripple and noise less than 1 milliamp RMS, the NGM201 and NGU201 are ideal for even the most sensitive circuits. Both instruments also feature extremely fast acquisition rates of 500,000 samples per second using the fast data logging mode. And as a result of their optimized control loop designs, both instruments demonstrate extremely fast load recovery times of less than 30 microseconds. This, combined with minimized overshoot, handles even the most abrupt load changes. And finally, the 800 by 480 pixel capacitive touchscreens display readings with up to 6.5 digit resolution. And the intuitive user interfaces, combined with built-in functionality such as battery simulator with easily modifiable data sets of common battery types, makes measurements quick and hassle-free. Although the NGM201 and NGU201 power supplies have many features in common, knowing some key differences can help you choose which one is best suited for your application. For example, while both instruments can produce voltages between 0 and 20 volts per channel, the NGM201 can produce up to 6 amps of output current and 3 amps of sync current per channel, compared to the NGU201's max of 8 amps of both output and sync current. And while most power supplies, including the NGM201 and NGU201, feature a voltage priority mode, only the NGU201 features a current priority mode. This allows for fast regulation of current, which limits the amount of current overshoot. So, if your test setup consists of components that are susceptible to damage from high currents, the NGU201 may be the better choice for your application. Also, only the NGU201 features a high capacitance mode, which automatically compensates for any capacitance at the input of your device in your test and displays the current directly at this location. When it comes to voltage resolution, the NGU201 has the upper hand. For example, while both instruments have two voltage ranges for readback, the NGU201 has a maximum voltage resolution five times greater, as it can detect changes as low as one microvolt compared to five microvolts for the NGM201. The same applies to current readback resolution. Within the NGM201's four current ranges, it can detect changes as low as 10 nanoamps. Within the NGU201's six current ranges, it can detect changes as low as 100 picoamps, resulting in a current resolution 100 times greater. On the other hand, while the NGM201 is available with either one or two channels, the NGU201 is only available with one. And only the NGM201 currently has an option for wireless LAN capability. For more information regarding these instruments and other available models, please visit our power supply product portfolio located on the Rota & Schwartz website. Thanks for watching and happy testing.